uh, when using data tables in Salesforce screen flows, there is a common limitation that the data table does not support clickable links or showing fields from the lookup or master detail relationships. Uh, to work around this, many people create formula fields on the objects and then reference those fields within the data table. But creating these extra fields adds technical debt over the time. And in this video, I will show you a simple workaround for these limitations uh, without creating any extra fields in Salesforce. So here I have created a screen flow that simply display all the cases of the given account using a data table. And here I am getting all the cases of the given account and then displaying it using the data table. And then I have added this screen flow on the account page here. You can see it display the case number which is not clickable and for the contact ID it only display the contact ID not its name and also it is not clickable. So now I'm going to update this screen flow so that the contact ID it shows the contact name and it is clickable and for the case number it is also clickable. So first uh, I'm going to loop over the cases and then what I'm going to do is to create two new variables one for storing the case values we can call it temp case record and another variable for storing the collection of cases temp cases collection and the data type is record and it is of type case and I'm checking this checkbox here and now within the loop using the assignment operator what I'm going to do is to uh, update the values of the case record temporary and then add them to the collection variable and then I will use this collection variable uh, to show the data table so let's name it update case values so first of all what I'm going to do is to assign all the values of the loop variable to this uh, new temporary case variable so here I have assigned the temp case record with the values of what is coming from the loop and then now I'm going to update the values inside this variable so for example for updating the contact ID and showing its name what I'm going to do temp case record and then for the contact ID I'm going to create a new resource here which is a text template and it is a plain text and let's name it contact name clickable and here I'm going to use this anchor tab which calls the href which is the link of the record and target as self and here what is displays on the UI so if I copy this and paste it here and for the record ID it will be the contact ID and we can use the values from the loop 
and for what we want to display on the front end it should be the contact name so, so loop dot contact first name and the contact last name so what happens here we are updating the contact ID with this value but we are not actually committing it to the database so, so these values will hold uh, temporary and similarly for the case number we can use any field uh, let's say use the asset ID field and then assign it to a value like case number clickable sorry it should be uh, the text template which is a plain text and again I am going to use this formula and where href is the case ID and we can use the uh, loop variable and for what is displayed on the UI we can use uh, the case number and finally I'm going to add this temp variable to the collection variable that we created and here I will use the add operator okay now finally we have to update the data table so that we use the new collection variable which contains the altered data and since for the case number we used the asset ID so we can use the asset ID and we can update its label let's say case number and for the contact ID we can use the same but let's update its label to just say contact and now I'm going to save these changes and activate it so it's been activated and now if I refresh this page and go to the cases tab so you can see both of these columns are clickable and if I click this it opens the contact record and similarly if I click on the case number it opens the case record